evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. Junior's coming down to the ring right now, not seeing much personality out of this ring walk. Cobra's making his way to the ring now, and he looks very focused for this fight. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. I want to see some head. 36 minutes still ahead of them here, round one of 12. Good way to protect the midsection. Well, it's very easy to see here. You have one fighter who has a distinct advantage in terms of the reach. What do you have to do when you're fighting a guy who you know can bring that long arm out and get there before you can? Joe, there's two ways to deal with a taller fighter. One is the traditional way. Just tuck up, get a good defense, and make sure you start working your way in. Slip the punch, take that height advantage away. Bring your legs. The other is to step out, believe it or not. Elicit the taller guy to give up his height. You. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Carries that punch intended for the head. Good right hand. The Cobra's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. Back to the head he goes. Junior's really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. Cobra's absorbing a left, and yet another big shot comes in. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round. He has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five, six. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. And the round comes to an end. We did have a knockdown in that round. Now, Teddy, if you're in the corner where your man was down on the floor, what are you telling him? Well, the first thing that I do is I sit him down, I get water on the back of his neck. You know, I bring him to a sense, I make sure that he's clear and everything. And then I tell him why he got his backside put on that canvas right, so he can correct breath. it. And he doesn't go out there and get caught again with the same punch. Good? You all right? Three. The Cobra's corner tried to steady him and give him some sound advice with the 60 seconds they had to work with him. But keep in mind, he was knocked down in that last round. Well, the most important thing is his experience. Has this happened to him before? Can he justify it in his mind that he's overcoming before? Also, his corner, did they revive him? Did they do their job during that minute rest? 
see he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Junior's blocking ability is doing well for him there. a good block by the Cobra. The Cobra's offense has nearly left the building, but that has a lot to do with the fact that he was hurt earlier. He got tagged. Now he's got to find a way to beat defensive, to make sure he survives, clears those cobwebs out a little bit, but he's got to reconnect the offense before it's too late. Yeah! well upstairs with the right hand just 10 seconds to go here in the second round and that's the end of round two the Cobra's corner better explain to him clearly why he lost that last round his accuracy was way off well if you're looking to find change on the beach you go out there with a metal detector well right now we need a punch detector. He needs a punch detector. He needs a jab to find the mark. Stay tight. Stay tight. Keep jabbing and hitting. Keep him in front of you, okay? Don't let him go. And round number three is underway. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by the Cobra. Junior's left, working well that time. Work the body, kid. Body shots. Keep working the jab. Good, good. <laughs> Blocking that punch. Very good defense by the Cobra. Sound defense. Good block that time by Junior. Yeah, you got this. 90 you seconds this, to go man. here in this round. That's what I want to see, baby. That's what I want to see. Good block there by the Cobra. That's Junior's like. right hand That's scores like. well that time. Fighting, and right from the start, double he's throwing the punch. power double punches double and double landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Junior's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Beat him to the punch. Come on, champ. Beat him to the punch, man. Huh? Off target with that hook. This is a wipeout. You are winning this fight. You keep doing what you're doing, and you got this in the back. Just keep doing exactly what you're doing. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Keep the... on him. Don't give him a chance to set his... All right, he's winning the fight. I mean, he's winning. He's taking it. You gotta take it to him this round, all right? You gotta bring it. The left hook is working good. Just apply some fucking pressure. You understand what I'm saying? Junior's enjoying a big lead here, Teddy, and we talk about this often as we begin round number four, up three to zip on your scorecard. 
when you have scored a knockdown that early in a fight, a real hole for your opponent to try to overcome. Yeah, because now he has to start taking chances of The Cobra stunned. What a big shot. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Unload. One punch, two, three, four. over fight is over junior's power just much too much for his opponent another knockout for him that's what you want to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.